wish I could paint all of these moments Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with this look. It's dewy skin, bronzy eyes. I wanted to create this look because I have oily skin, but sometimes I don't want to be like a grease ball. I want to be dewy, you know, like looking fresh and looking good. So I decided to go ahead and create this look. If you guys like it, then keep on watching. Guys, so here I'm just using my Smashbox primer and I'm just putting that in my forehead and then a little bit on my nose because that's where I mostly get oily at and I'm just going to be taking my Giorgio Armani and the BB Illuminator from Gerard's Cosmetics and I mix those two together it gives you such a gorgeous glow and I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and just putting that under my designer bags <laughs> and then just highlighting the perimeters of my face And then I'm going to be taking my beauty blender to blend everything out. I love using my beauty blender to blend my foundation, my concealer. It blends like a dream. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to put it on my forehead and on my nose because that's where my oils tend to come out much quicker. And then I'm going to use the shade Light Palette in the color Banana. And I'm just going to set my concealer so my eyeballs don't grease. <laughs> then I'm taking that lighter shade and just contouring my face just a little bit, not too much. Then I'm taking the Lorac Tantalizer and I'm putting that all over my face because it has a sheen to it so it gives you a really gorgeous glow. And then I'm taking my Makeup Forever Cream Blush and this is, gives you such a natural flush to your face. Here is the NARS Jubilation Highlighter and I'm taking that gold color and a little bit of that rose gold and just putting it on top of my cheekbones and on the side of my face. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. Sunkiss Glow Bronzer and also putting it on top of my cheekbones and on the side of my face because this gives you such a really gorgeous glow. It's just gorgeous, I can't even explain it. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just priming my eyelids with that. And I'm taking MAC Saddle and then I'm just going to use that as my transition color. So that way my eyeshadows blend in seamlessly. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Bake eyeshadow here. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. I'll put the name of it down below. And then I'm taking Makeup Geek Afterglow pigment and just putting that all over my eyes because it gives you such a gorgeous glow and I put a little bit of that Max Fix Plus on there to make it pop a little bit more and then I'm just getting my blending brush and just blending it out so that way we don't have any harsh lines then I'm taking here Makeup Geek Correct and just eyeliner a little bit on top of my eyes so that way when we put our eyelashes on they blend in together and then here I'm getting my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and just putting one coat of it on so that way it preps my eyes for my eyelashes and then here I'm taking the MAC pencil and feline I think I'm not sure I put it down below but it's just like a flesh tone color so that way it makes your eyes look more awake and I'm taking my red lashes in 43 and just popping them on and here I'm just using max saddle and a little bit of that elf eyeshadow and just blending it out under my eyes and then I'm taking my Jordana lip liner and tawny and I'm just lining my lips and then I'll be filling them in
Then I'm taking my Wet n Wild Bare It All lipstick, the best new lipstick ever, and it's very cheap and it's just gorgeous. I love it. Then I'm taking my Bite Beauty Rambutan lip gloss, and this is also a gorgeous nude, and just popping that on top of my lips. Then I'm taking my Smashbox Primer Water and just putting that all over my face to make me look extra dewy, girl. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching.